Hello everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we're going to continue our Yoga for Weight Loss series with a core check-in. So let's hop on the mat. Okay, so we're going to begin on all fours. Uh, I can take a second here to do a couple cat cows, which we have a video for, and I actually recommend just doing a couple, maybe a lot of cat cows to check in with the spine. I've already done my cat cows for today, so I'm ready to rock and roll. So we'll do a little warm up of cat cow on the spine. Then I'm gonna check in with my tabletop position, which is wrists directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hip points. Then I'm gonna press up and out of my foundation, so spread the palms nice and wide, Press into the tops of the feet and even begin to spread the toes. So whatever that means to you. Sometimes I like to imagine pressing my pinky toe down. And even if that little baby pinky toe, little baby pinky toe doesn't make it to the ground, at least I'm spreading awareness really through all edges of the feet. So you can see here right away, instead of collapsing into my bones here, I'm pressing up and out of my base, my foundation. Spreading my awareness through the palms, pressing into the tops of the feet. Inhale in, extend through the crown of the head. Keep your gaze straight down. So a lot of times we associate this integration with this all fours posture. Let's keep it straight down today. Nice long neck integrating from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. So we're not letting the neck hang low and we're not crunching it ahead, but nice and straight, letting the back of the neck get a little sunshine. Okay, inhale in. As you exhale, press into the tops of the feet, lift the knees. Nothing big here, just a little hover. Already my inner fire, <laughs> that Agni, that fire is lit up, burning here. Tops of the shoulders drawing away from the ears, long, beautiful neck. Inhale in, exhale, rest, come down. And you might have already just noticed a little shake in the body, a little prana moving there. That's what I'm talking about, my friends. Waking up, not just the abdominal wall, the six pack, the cores, but the full core, integrating full body experience. Two more times like this, inhale in, exhale, just let the knees hover. And really this isn't about mastering a pose, this is about just checking in. Because when you lift those knees even just half an inch for half a second, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. If we're collapsing into the bones, it's gonna be painful. We have to empower ourselves, press up and out of the base. Then we'll release the knees back down, check in. We can even send it back for an extended child's pose. And then we come back up for the third time, just checking in. Inhale in, extend through the crown of the head. Exhale, press into the tops of the feet. Whew, lift up. Let it hover, just check in. And again, if you feel that shake here, smile, breathe. Keep the skin of the face nice and soft. And then we relax back down. Whew. Again, we can send it back, extended child's pose, just to alleviate a little pressure off the hands and the wrists. And just check in with the breath. We'll take a nice sweet breath in, transition back to all fours. Okay, ready for our cat cow variations. <clears throat> Pressing up and out of my foundation, my tabletop position. I'm going to, again, check in with that, that sensation that I had here when the knees were lifted, pressing up and out of the earth. So no collapsing. I think I've said that a million times now, okay? So hopefully no one's collapsing. <laughs> but I just don't want your joints to have that undue pressure. So I'm pressing into the tops of the feet, pressing up and out of the palms. I'm gonna inhale. First, I'm gonna extend my left toes out. Now my weight's gonna to wanna to shift to the right side of the body, but I'm gonna to try to keep it even. So my midline's still in line with the spine of my mat. Toes facing down here. You can press into the heel, you can point the toes a couple times, but I want just the top of the thigh bone to be parallel to the earth. Pressing up and out of the palms, taking some of that weight out of my wrist. I'm gonna inhale in and slowly draw my right fingertips towards the front of the room. So now I have a little yoga for the brain here. My right fingertips are extending out as my left toes, my left leg is extending long. Inhale, pull the right shoulder into socket here, nice and gentle, lots of space between the ears and shoulders. I can spread my fingers, spread my toes, just for a little awareness. Inhale in, draw your navel towards your spine, level out. <sighs> Breathe. One more nice long breath here, hang with me. And then on an exhale, gently with ease, so we don't just collapse, we got this, we got control. We're in charge as we relax back down. 
Shifting the weight to the opposite side now, here we go. Inhale, we're jumping right into both limbs this time. Left fingertips and right toes extend. Pressing into the top of that back foot strong, pressing up and out of my right palm, I lift from there. So I'm not just cranking my limbs up and then letting the body follow. Core integration here, extending from the crown of the head, leveling that right hip here, reaching left fingertips forward, and then pulling that shoulder in. Inhale, lifting the heart, the belly up, pressing up and out of the foundation rather than collapsing into my bones. We hold here for a couple breaths. Rather than giving you a number of breaths to hold here, I just want you to breathe. Just breathe, just believe. Inhale in, exhale, I'll float it down. And then I'll take a rest by bringing the two big toes together, widening the knees as wide as the mat. Extended child's pose, inhale, look up, smile, and exhale, send it back. Again, rather than giving you a number count of breaths here, take a rest, just breathe, enjoy. We can turn the palms face up, we can bring the palms together and up and overhead, this is nice. I can rock my belly, my rib cage side to side, hips checking in. And again, let your mind be at ease. Don't worry about doing it right or wrong, but just take a rest. When you feel satisfied with your rest, and hopefully you didn't fall asleep, but if you did, rest well. When you get up, we'll inhale, come back up to all fours. And now we're gonna go into a flow, bringing a little more into the abdominal wall. Pressing up and out of my tabletop position, here I go. Inhale, extending the left toes and the right fingertips out. Nice and long, reaching front to back. Integrating full core though here, so I'm still drawing up through my navel just as I did in my balancing posture. But this time I'm gonna inhale, draw a line with my nose forward. And exhale, integrating nose all the way towards the navel, bringing the right fingertips and the left knee in towards center as I round the spine. I'm pressing up and out of my foundation here as I draw everything in and up towards my center. I almost said towards my core, but we're talking about full body core here. Then inhale, extending it out long, nice and slow, don't rush, holding everything into the midline here. Extend and exhale, nose to knee, rounding it in with control, with breath, pressing up and out of your foundation, draw the navel up towards the spine, nose to knee, round, 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 and inhale, extend. Exhale, floating in. No number count today, just moving with the breath. So you find your groove, Stella, and when you feel satisfied on this side, we'll inhale, extend on your last one. I recommend holding for one breath, taking a full breath cycle here, integrating full body experience, and then on the exhale, coming back to tabletop. You can send it back, extend a child's pose here for a rest, but we're gonna go straight into the other side here. So shifting my weight, Mind and body working together here with the breath. Here we go. Inhale, extending left fingertips and right toes this time. So I'm working in opposition here. I can take, take a second here to integrate that shoulder, that hip, my navel, pressing up and out of my foundation. Again, the tendency is going to let go of the hand here and the foot. Use that mother earth, plug in. Send it up and out. And when you're ready, moving into the flow. Inhale and exhale, lots of space. Inhale, lots of space. When I say lots of space, I mean we're moving in an integrated way. So my nose is kind of following my fingertips here, but nothing's crunching. I'm doing everything with a, an awareness. No number count today on my last one. Whenever I feel satisfied, I'll hold for one breath cycle here. Inhale in. And on an exhale, back to all fours. 
Kiss those two big toes together. Mwah! It's Valentine's Day, but we can kiss any day. Any day's love day, right? Spread the knees wide and then send it back. Rest. Extended child's pose. Pranam. Bowing to the beloved. Playing a little piano here. Hmm. And breathe. All right, so that was a great check-in with the core. Uh, we can repeat this sequence another time on each side or two more times on each side, as many times as you want. Um, we can also use this as a warm-up for a longer sequence, such as our Yoga for Weight Loss Reuniting with Your Core video, which is a little bit longer. So you can do it on its own, repeat, or use it as a warm-up for a longer practice. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. Also, be sure to visit the website and sign up for the Yoga with Adrienne newsletter because we have lots of exciting things coming up and I would love for you to be a part of it. So, happy love day, everyone. How does that look? Hope you have a good one and hope you enjoy the practice. See you next time. <laughs>